Tell us about the film. Tell us about your relationship with Sam on set. Oh God, Sam is such an awesome guy. I mean, he's uh, he's so giving as an actor. He's incredibly trustworthy. I felt so comfortable with him. He's a total goofball, and he made me feel so comfortable. And my Rosie wouldn't have been Rosie without his Alex. So I feel very lucky. I, I think I think when I don't have an accent to worry about, <laughs> I immediately feel a lot more comfortable. But also for me, yeah, I mean, London is home. Uh, England is home. Uh, as much as we film this in Dublin, though, so in a sense of having the Irish surrounding us. Yeah. But, you know, we were welcomed with open arms and we were very, very blessed with it. Yeah. A great crew. Got on well with everyone on set. Everyone was an absolute dream. Christian's a fantastic director and he always made sure it was fun and fresh. So even if we were doing a, a scene several times and it was a, it was like a, a, an a, a angry scene with, um, with within characters having an argument, we'd always mix it up, we'd always change it, we'd change the way that we, we, we worked in the set, we'd change the, the, the utensils. It was, it was really easy like that because I think with a comedy it has to be fresh. If it's not spontaneous, it's not funny. Um, and I think you can see this with that film everyone's having a lovely time and it's just easy and fun and and and, and free it's, it's a very free-flowing film we could we could improvise if you wanted to it was it was more about the relationships in this film than than necessarily hitting the right marks I'm so embarrassed about last night but like, which part all of it you can't tell anyone hi Alex Stewart. I know boy-girl friendships can be quite complicated sometimes, but more always here if you need to talk. What do you think? Boobs are natural or pushed up? Is, is it for dancing or is it... Or is it um, hmm. um, tell me about some of your favourite romantic comedies and some of your favourite relationships on screen. Uh, love Actually, um, Notting Hill. I think Hugh Grant is like the king of uh, romantic comedies. Um, and uh, The Holiday, Cameron Diaz and Jude Law. And um, Sabrina, I absolutely love Audrey Hepburn, and I think that she is kind of a, a romantic comedy lead actress, even though people don't consider her what you would consider funny or goofy, I find her completely endearing. So I meant to ask you the last day, right? You're sitting down, you're watching the movie with your beautiful wife over here. Do you preference it? There's going to be a kiss coming up here now. Just giving you a heads up. I definitely hold her hand a bit tight. You know, she, she's, she's in the game. She's an actress. She, she knows what it's all about. And yeah. She obviously yeah, knows that I love her uh, dearly. He loves you. He just wants you to know that he loves you. This place is a dead end. Let's get out of here. Flee the country. <laughs> Maybe it's what you want to do, isn't it? Scholarship to Harvard. Have you heard back from Boston College yet? Yeah. No. I've been feeling sick. Oh, I had it all sussed. Now it's pregnant. Wave goodbye to Corinne. <laughs> Who's the dad? She's Greg's. He ran after Ibiza the minute he heard. And now my best friend's moving to Boston. So this is what it feels like. Keep in touch, OK? I hope you got my present. Thanks for the book, Alex. I know she'll love it one day. Why is it? Rosie? Bethany? Tomorrow I fly out again at New York, Boston. You should look up Alex. So we're getting married. You told me to come there. It wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you. It's my best friend. I met your best friend. Get it yet? Sometimes I don't see that the best thing that's ever happened to you is right under your nose. You're looking way too hot right now. <laughs>